All right, all right, all right, y'all. Welcome back to another video with Trippin' with the Smiths. Today, we're talking about Pensacola. We're talking about the why we like to stay here when we're in town into the two places, right? We're two staying. of the three places. Two of the three places while we're here. But, oh, I don't know you had a third one. Well, we had Anchor Cove. It's okay. kind of a third. I don't count that as three. But anyway, y'all, so, um, Enjoy the video. Jeff got a little words for you too. Oh, you don't want to talk anymore about it? That's not what I said. Okay. So <laughs> we, when we're in Pensacola, we stay at the military bases here um, because that's one of the things we do. We stay at military bases. Most of the time we're in places because Hush. they are relatively no. inexpensive and they're very convenient. <laughs> you should have shut him in the door. So, dogs put up, we'll continue. So, when we're in Pensacola, we stay on the military bases at the military campgrounds, and we oftentimes see people asking questions about, well, what's the difference between Oak Grove Park, Blue Angel Park, and Anchor Cove, if Anchor Cove gets brought up. So we wanted to do a little video about the differences and why we stay where we stay. Which campground do we prefer to stay at? This one we're right here at, Oak Grove. Oak Grove, and oh. why do we stay here? We stay here because it's right on the beach by 100 yards um, to walk to the beach. Like I can see it from right here. It's not like beach view, but it's easy for us to get down there quickly and easy. We won't even have to drive to an actual beach like Pensacola Beach or Johnson's Beach. Um, that's one of the reasons why we stay here. Another reason is well, it's close to the commissary. It's close to the several gyms that we have access to. It's close to a good friend of mine's um, biz, uh, gym and supplement shop um melissa shout out <laughs> so um that's the reason why i like it here it's just really convenient into pensacola into the city yeah so oak grove is it's on base it's convenient to as candace said everything um it has cable hookups available and you can even go down and get short-term internet service via the cable hookup if you'd like so That's if you're going to do mediacom yeah right? through mediacom if you want to do a 90-day stay here you can actually get cable internet for 90 days and then turn the box back in and be done whereas the other ones don't have that our second choice in this area is going to be blue angel park which is 25 minutes down the road or so and it's a little bit more woodsy a little bit more camping like but it has no cable and it has nothing really right around it that's convenient other than a Tom Thumb and a Greer's grocery outlet. Uh, but it is close to the water and you can get, if you get lucky, you can get sites that are like across the parking lot from the water so you can see the water. One of the downsides we think to Blue Angel Park is the fact that the campsites aren't reserved. They're on a first come first serve basis so you get there at like 11 o'clock in the morning when people are checking out and you scope out your site, you pick your site, hope nobody steals it while you go um, report your site number to the office and you gotta move in, which is great if you're there and you have maybe yeah. like a small RV. It's not so great if you get in later in the day or you tend to get in later in the day and you know, you're 45 feet long and half the sites won't fit a 45 foot long RV, yeah. so. And, the last campground that we don't stay in anymore is the Anchor Cove campground over there. It's still in Blue Angel Park, but it's a separate campground. And the reason we don't stay there is because we are too big for it. It is a prim more primitive campground. If you really want to be like the woodsy camping type it's deal, the side to be on. that's the side to be on. We managed to get our 39 foot Cedar Creek in there. It was tight, it was difficult, and I don't even want to attempt to get the 45 foot DRV and the 30 foot semi that's back there and you may be able to see a little bit of it right i don't want to try to get that in there and maneuver around there it's just too tight um, and the other downside to anchor cove and why it was always uh, a last choice for us is that there's not full hookups there you're going to be hauling a blue boy to the sewer dump um yeah you'll have electricity and you'll have water but you're not you're going to be hauling sewer mm -hmm. and i'm not really that big of a fan of hauling sewer uh, i prefer pull, full hookups Only if i'm going we have to, to. Yeah, if I'm going to be in an RV park and paying for an RV park, I would prefer full hookups because it's only like a $5 difference. Yeah. But if you like the primitive aspect of camping, Anchor Cove is probably the way to go for you. Um, if you like to be able to have a campfire, if that's important to you, 
Blue Angel is probably the way to go, either Anchor Cove or um, Battleship Row. And if you like to be close to civilization and have some amenities and have cable, Oak Grove Park is probably the best way to go. Yeah. And, and the beach Grove is prettier over here too. Yeah, the beach over here is 10 times nicer than the beach at Blue, uh, Blue Angel. So that's our spiel. I think that's it. Hope you enjoy the, uh, oh, the tour. Oh, stop, stop it. I was going to say one more thing. What you got? This is the walk from our campsite to the beach, which we do just about every morning. And this is one of the key reasons why we like Oak Grove Park, because the beach is very nice, much nicer than at Blue Angel Park. And it's on par with Pensacola Beach or Johnson Beach, which is right down the road. And we are literally a couple hundred yards from it. It takes five minutes to walk from the RV to the beach with the dogs. And then we can watch walk either direction down the beach and just enjoy our, our beach time here in Florida. There's two paths that go down to the beach um, immediately off of the section of campground that we're at. And then there's another path down uh, down the campground a little bit by the cabins that are not currently available for rent, but normally are. There is still some hurricane damage here from the last storm that came through, as you can see a little bit on the path and you'll see on the walkover that's coming up. And if you actually come visit, you'll see in some of the buildings here. But this is the view as you go through the little strip of woods between the campground and the water. And this is where in the summer it gets pretty crowded. And by pretty crowded, I mean like 20 people, so not really crowded, but it gets crowded with campers. You are not supposed to swim in the water here, but you can wade. And I see people kayaking all the time and paddle boarding down here. And we've paddle boarded uh, down here as well. Just no swimming. You have to go down to Barrancas Beach, which is about uh, a two minute drive down the road. It's like maybe one mile down the road. But that's the view towards the marina. And then this other view is towards the rest of the base, the Navy Lodge, and the um, just the rest of the base. And as we walk up here, you can see how clear the water is. And this is pretty par for the course for the water, unless it's been stormy or there's been a lot of waves. At that point, it gets a little messed up. But it's clear enough that the dogs can see and chase crabs and fish and whatnot in the water. And as we turn around, you can see the view headed back towards the campground. Again, this is like a five minute walk from our campsite and pretty much a five minute walk from any portion of the campground. So this is a quick drive around Oak Grove Park so you can get a feel of what the park is like. It is not the nicest or most glamorous or resort type RV park that you'll run into, but it is right on world-class beaches and close to several amenities that you get when you're on a military base. Um, this is typical spacing of the site. These sites are assigned and you can call the office and um, give them your criteria for your trailer so that they can put you in the appropriate sized site when you arrive. Um, otherwise, you may end up in a fairly small site. There are like five premium sites that are closer to the water. They don't really have a water view, but they are closer to the water. Um, here at Oak Grove, you're within a couple minutes, really five to ten minutes of all these things. Um, you've got two really nice base gyms. You've got a mini mart that has a little bit of groceries and alcohol and gas. You've got the aviation museum that is almost across the street from the park. You've got a light, historic lighthouse that is within a 10 minute walk from the park. You've got Fort Barrancas that you can explore and see. You've got a golf course. There's a marina right down the road that has boat rentals. There's also another marina that has kayak and paddleboard rentals a little bit further away. And there's a bike path that runs along the park from one end of the base to the other. So it's easy to bike around if that's your thing. Um, while you're here at Oak Grove, one of the downsides that some people will find is that you aren't allowed to have campfires unless it's a propane fire pit. They do have full hookups at all the sites. Um, like I already said, the sites are assigned, and there is a nice little laundry facility that's got, I think, four or six, I can't remember for sure, um, washer and dryers. 
You've got the Blue Angels that fly on a regular basis when they're not out doing an air show. So you get your own private air show here at Oak Grove Park. Um, you can sit at the road, which many people do in their camp chairs, or you can go to the beach and sit at the beach and see them fly out there practicing for their next air show. The only downside to that is that it does get kind of noisy at times, but it's not an everyday thing. And generally it's within decent hours, so it isn't too, uh, too annoying with the noise. And again, the highlight of Oak Grove Park is the beach. The beach is wonderful, as you saw in the previous clip, and that's really one of the reasons why we like Oak Grove Park. This is Blue Angel Park Battleship Row, which is about 20, 25 minutes from NAS Pensacola, and it's also about 15 to 20 minutes from anything in the west side of Pensacola. So it's a little bit more out of the way, but it is a little bit more of the traditional camping experience. It's quieter. It's more wooded. You are allowed to have uh, campfires here as long as there's not a burn ban. And there is a store and a convenience store within five minutes. So you've got a, gro a small grocery store and a convenience store relatively close. So it's not really that out of the way. Um, with that being said, the one downside to Blue Angel Park and Battleship Row is that the sites are first come, first serve. So if you're the last one to arrive for the day, you get whatever last site is available. And some of the sites are not suitable for bigger RVs. And that you get here early on the day of your arrival that you're supposed to check in no later than 11 o'clock in the morning and be there when the sites are emptied out and people leave. Um, another option that we have done in the past is to show up the night before, boondock in the huge open area that's between the two campgrounds, Anchor Cove and Battleship Row, and then be up early and ready to take sites as people depart in the morning. Um, I don't think that's an officially recommended strategy, but we have done it a couple times and nobody's gotten mad at us or kicked us out. So um, it's worked for us in the past. Uh, one other note, don't start stalking sites before 11 o'clock in the morning. They will get mad at you and you'll get reprimanded by the office if you're bothering people while they're leaving. If you're making reservations online or through the 800 number, just know that they will not make a reservation that starts on a Sunday. So look for a Saturday reservation or a Monday reservation and then call and modify that reservation with the office directly there at Blue Angel Park. It's just because they're closed on Sunday and they've blocked those out. As you can see here, driving down the front of Battleship Row, these sites have direct access or view to the water, and they are limited to 30-day reservations. You can't do 90 days there, so keep that in mind. This is the area that I said you could probably get away with camping the night before your reservation if you want to, and you can see off to the left there. That's the water that you have. It looks nice in the video right here on the drive over to Anchor Cove, but it's actually most of the time kind of brown and the water is really shallow there and the bottom isn't very sandy. So I don't think it's the most pleasant water in the world, but this marina right here has paddle boards and kayaks and boats and you can go enjoy the water. But as I said before, I think the Oak Grove Park Beach is much nicer. However, this one is right directly um, across from the campground with views of the water and you can launch a boat and you can rent kayaks and you can do all that stuff. This here is Anchor Cove and Anchor Cove is the most primitive of the campgrounds in Pensacola for the military campgrounds. It does not have sewer at the campsites. However, you do have water and electric and there is a dump station on site, which is relatively easy to get to and use. So as long as you're okay with, um, with having to dump your sewer, then this is an okay option for you. I will tell you that the sites are small, the trees are low, it's a little bit difficult to navigate. Um, we haven't stayed here since we got the DRV just because of the massive size of the DRV. And especially now that we're towing with the semi, I wouldn't take it in here. But we have stayed here in the past with the F-350 and the Cedar Creek that we had that was 49 feet long. So it is definitely doable, it's just not just not the easiest thing to do and some of the sites are difficult to get into you see here that you have no concrete you have no gravel it's all sand and leaves and oak trees 
but this area is not, probably the most uh, camping-like experience that you will get. Um, and it's cleared out a bit since the last few storms. They've cut down some trees, so there's that as well. Um, no cable. You can have campfires over here. And again, no sewer. Just to remind you, no sewer over here. So you're out of luck for that. With that being said, it's relatively easy to get a reservation over here. So if you can fit, if you've got a smaller camper or a smaller motorhome uh, you, and you can fit over here, you can pretty much be guaranteed to get a site over here in this particular campground. As you can see, some of the sites are directly on the water and the beach over here isn't too terrible. It's still not as nice as Oak Grove, but it's not a bad beach. Um, just know that if you're over here, you need to have a mat or something to keep the sand out of your trailer or you're gonna be constantly vacuuming and sweeping sand. And when I said the Cedar Creek, I said 49 feet. What I meant was 39 feet. Uh, there's no such thing as a 49 foot Cedar Creek. So if you caught that mistake, just know that it's actually 39 feet. Um, these right here would be what I consider the premium sites in Anchor Cove because they are right on the water, um, as nice as the water is over here. Uh, also, you can see that they're the sites that are most often taken. There's one more thing I wanted to wrap up on the campground review situation is that it's not just military anymore that can access the parks, right? Well, you can have military and guests. Get and if you've got DOD. DOD, DOD employees and some qualifying VA disabilities can get you into the military campgrounds. Yes. I hate saying that because it cuts into <laughs> our availability. Yes. Kind of selfish that way. But there is a bigger pool of people and you can actually bring guests into some of these parks as well, like Blue Angel, because it's not on a base. Yeah. So if you're a military person and you're traveling with non-military people, you can actually sponsor them on base and have sites. You just got to find sites that have availability. That was my thing. Okay. That I wanted to add. Public service announcement. There you go. <laughs> Go ahead, close Go it ahead, out. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> I'm not, no, no, you're, no. The, you're the closer. All right, y'all. You'll know the spiel. Like, comment, share. Help us get into the internet feed, the algorithm situation. Comment, give us some love. That's all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>